Leadership matters, you know, and, uh, and uh, elections matter. Uh, but there's something that, that we all need to do in three weeks. We all need to vote. You know, I wish, you know, I, I, I personally believe that this would be a different country if everybody voted. God, I hope so. Um, but uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, to give opportunities to, to all, um, uh, uh, we, I'd like to introduce uh, Christine Halquist, who's running for uh, the governor, for, for uh, Democratic governor, uh, and has been a utility executive for a long time. You know, we, uh, we, we, a lot, I know a lot of you in here, we've all been working for a long time to struggle with all the things we need to do in order to uh, get to a renewable future. Um, in 2004, I went up to Quebec City to listen to the Intergovernmental Climate Change Commission uh, report on what Congress was doing to the planet, and I knew the electric grid would be the key to the solution. Uh, so we've all worked, you know, we've all worked at different Different uh, projects in our career. My first big project was kind of to lead the Kingdom Community Wind event, be the face of that event. Um, and I met with people weekly, uh, and I actually went and visited the protesters on the other side of the mountain twice to hear their side of the story with, with wind on the ridge lines. Um, and of course, you know, we built uh, uh, the, one of the largest solar projects in the state. And and of course, we, we uh, then got to the point where we had problems with uh, the, the Sheffield Highgate export interface. Um, but the, the good news that I have for all these problems with physics and engineering that we've dealt with is, uh, you know, I want to commend, I just saw David Lane back there. I, I'm the biggest cheerleader for the Solar Pathways Report. You know, they, that was such an incredible piece of work. Um, and, I, and that's going to be key. Um, to, to the plan to solve climate change. Because I believe that report uh, has addressed a lot of those physics, a lot of those issues that need to be addressed. And, uh, you know, I am totally committed to uh, putting this state on a path to uh, resolving climate change. And that plan talks about getting to 90% by 2050. It talks about how to get there. talks about the grid and where things should be located. Um, it's not perfect. But it's a, it's a start, and I would make that the comprehensive energy plan uh, and, and within, as soon as I got into office. Um, and I would ask the legislature to codify in law that we're going to get to 90% by 2050, all energy sources. Um, and, but what that plan calls for, it's very aggressive. That plan calls for us to have 1,000 megawatts of solar by 2025. Um, that's more than a fourfold increase than the solar we have today. And, you know, what, what I don't want to do is I don't want us to forget the goal as we get into the details of how we do it. Goal being 90% by 2050, measures on the path to get there is 20% solar by 2025. It's an aggressive goal, but we all agree to support it. We will get there because I know when people pull together we can do great things. Now, with the, you know, the second climate change report that came out two weeks ago, uh, that's probably not enough. So I think the next step I would be committed to is talking about right, how, do we, how do we write a plan to get to 100% by 2040. And I always say, if you don't have a plan, you, you, you've just got hope. I'm all about putting the plan to get there. So I'm totally committed to do that. I also, you know, in, in, uh, in my debate with Phil Scott, you know, he keeps going back to no new taxes and affordability. Um, but I will tell you, the most expensive and most dangerous thing we can do is not to have a long-term plan and a long-term vision. Um, so, and, I've all, and, and to address some of these issues that people bring up to say, well, what about the other states? What about maybe we're too small to do this? I've already met with uh, the former governor of Colorado to sign on to the uh, governor's accord. 19 governors across the country have, have signed on to solve climate change. So there, we may be a small state, but there's a lot of large states that want to achieve that goal. And yesterday I met with the Canadian delegation because I believe we're even better off if we make that a North American goal. So I, I am 100% committed to solving climate change. I'm 100% committed to the Solar Pathways Report. I'm 100% committed to make to have the legislature codify our goals in law um, as we move forward. Um, we're working real hard to get elected. 
I, you know, Vermont has a, has a distinct choice this election. They have a, have a choice between no new taxes or, or a long-term vision. Um, I hope Vermonters make the right choice, um, but we'll see, we'll, we'll see what, uh, what, what democracy looks like in, in uh, 20 days. So please get out and, and, and uh, keep pounding the pavement on the importance of solving climate change. I will talk, tell you, when I talk to Vermonters, it's not their top issue. The good news is I have a hook for Vermonters. We're going to connect every home and business with fiber optic cable. So hopefully that will get people to the point where they, they, they do vote for me so we can solve climate change. But I will also tell you there's a method to my madness with connecting every home with fiber optic cable. Because in the Solar Pathways Plan, it talks about having reliable internet, internet connections so we can send price signals to the appliances so we can better utilize that storage that's built into all of our homes. So that fiber backbone will be very important as, as a, an infrastructure to help us solve our climate change. So, thank you. Anybody got a question? Christine, I appreciate your commitment and your courage on combating climate change. I would like to hear a little bit more clarification about your recent statements of wind in Vermont and the need not produce wind in Vermont, but that we can do it elsewhere. Well, I am totally committed to solving climate change. I think renewables in Vermont needs to be a secondary goal to solving climate change. I do not want to see us get hung up. I'm afraid we might lose that battle. I, I you know, and I, and 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 I think we may have already lost that battle. But you know, but we absolutely need wind. I've been saying that consistently. We need wind in order to solve a problem because wind blows like crazy in the winter when the sun's not shining. But I don't know. I wouldn't put all my eggs in that basket. To, to get Vermonters to commit to climate change and put wind on the ridge lines. Of course, I, you know, if, if we can get a project on the ridge lines, but I just don't think Vermonters have the appetite for it right now. 